Fresh new faces line a Rockfield Road as the Afghan National Army's 209th Corps graduated over 1,400 new soldiers today from military basic training. <laughs> Today is the graduation of 8 Kandak from Core 29 Training Center, which is 122nd Kandak of Afghan National Army. We are celebrating it today. Afghan men traded in their civilian clothes for a military uniform and spent seven weeks in basic training. They came from many provinces throughout Afghanistan and joined the military to defend their country from terrorism. My dear soldiers, you remember after seven weeks of training you all that you all honestly defend your country. You swear on Islamic thought that you have you will defend your country against Al Qaeda and terrorists, which don't let Afghan people on normal life. Am I right? Advances in weaponry and vehicles throughout the region in various Kandaks, or battalions, along with the trust in the United States and its coalition partners, have helped the Afghan military soldiers train hard and fully prepare to defend their country. You see those pre previous Kandaks were being trained by AK-47, but you have been trained by M-16 and, and M-4. They did not have Humvees, but you have been trained on Humvees. This is according to the schedule of MOD and the promise of which international community had with us. Continued training and individual responsibility will play a key part in Afghanistan being a free country able to operate on its own. The future of Afghanistan depends on soldiers just like the ones who graduated today as these will be the leaders of tomorrow long after U.S. military and coalition forces have left the region. The seven-week training that you have had is not enough. You need to be more trained because, you know, in the close future, all commandings and operating is going to be your responsibilities. That won't be Americans, Germans, or other countries' responsibility. They will financially support you, they will train you, and you will be the one to have responsibilities on operating and all activities and achievements to be, all achievements are belongs to Afghans. The ultimate goal for the Afghan National Army is to be self-sufficient, but first, they must do everything they can to gain the trust of the country's people. My dear soldiers, I wish you get trust of your people. You see, Core 29 is operating in North Nine provinces. As much as we focus on training and professionalism of our staff, we try our best to support and serve the life of civilian people. It was a good day for the country of Afghanistan as 1,400 more soldiers joined the fight for a safer country. Another 60,000 soldiers are expected to join the ranks within the next 18 months. From Camp Shaheen, Mazari Sharif, Afghanistan, I'm Master Sergeant Dave DeRemer.